This is a parable called Little Bitty Smidgen. Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. Once upon a time, there was a father who had two sons. He raised them both to love their King James Bible, gave them a good education, and then one day sent them off to Bible school. At the end of the first year, he welcomed them home and told them he was going to make a favorite feast for them. Then he looked at the sons and he said, well, what did you learn this year in Bible school? The first son said, Well, my professors tried to get me to switch from the King James. And what did you do? asked the father. Well, I told them, I trust every word of my King James. I believe it with all my heart. And when you believe with all your heart every word of your Bible, we can talk. Until then, <laughs> no going. I'm sticking with the King James. And the father looked at the second son. The second son looked a bit sheepish. Did the same thing happen to you? Asked the father. The second son said, well, dad, look, they told me, my professors, that the Bible is too confusing and, wait a second, I don't remember you ever saying the Bible was confusing, asked, said the father. Whoa. Dad, hear me out. Look, not confusing to me, but to the other people, you know, the unsaved. They need to learn the Bible, and it could be confusing to them. And, and besides, you know, making it simpler is good. And the modern scholarship has found that some words just shouldn't be translated the way they are. And so, I switched to the New King James. Dad, really, it's just a little bitty smidgen different. Well, let's set it aside for now, said the father. Come tonight to the feast. And they went their way. And the father prepared the feast. That evening the kids came and all their friends were sitting around the table and it was decked out. The father stood up at the head of the table and he said, Today my sons have come home from their first year of Bible school. I've invited you, his friends, and given you all their favorite foods, including their very favorite bread, covered with real butter. I want you to pick it up in your hands, right off your plate there, yeah. Pick it up in your hands. Mmm, smell it. Doesn't it smell beautiful? And look at the texture, feel it with your fingers. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Now hold that in your hands while I talk to you here. One of my sons has told me that he switched into the new King James because he said that the King James needs to be improved. So in honor of that, I've improved the recipe. I put just a little bitty smidgen of pig poop. Some of the people involuntarily gagged, others dropped their bread. He said, who's way? You see, in Matthew 7, 14, the New King James people thought it wasn't good enough that the King James says narrow is the way that leads to life. No, in the New King James, they thought it was better to say that it's difficult to enter life than narrow. In the King James, in Acts chapter 3, verse 26, God says that he has raised up his, his son, Jesus. Well, the New King James people said that wasn't good enough. It wasn't accurate. So despite all those centuries of Bibles that said he's his son, they've corrected it to servant. Don't worry, it's got a capital S. In the King James Bible... In Acts, uh, sorry, 1 Corinthians 1.18, it says that the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it's the power of God. The New King James people said, no, 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 that's a present passive participle, and you've got to super literally translate it. All those Bibles of the Reformation and before, they're all wrong. Instead, it should say you're being saved. You know, like the Catholic Bibles, where they say we're on the road to salvation. So in honor of these three changes, I put just three smidgens of pig poo in your bread. No, just kidding, I did it. No, in honor of the fact that it was men's changes, I used men poo instead. Eat up! Let me ask you. How much men poo needs to be in your Bible before you stop using it? God bless you and have a wonderful day.